Welcome, welcome, welcome to Principles of Project Management, ICT 4100 Roadmap for Week 6. This is Professor Bauer. Hope you're doing well. Coming to you on a Tuesday, busy day yesterday, and uh, just uh, getting this out. I'm going to try to keep the videos a little shorter in the 5 to 7 minute range just to uh, not tax you too terribly much. We'll look at the overview uh, for this week, the activities and assignments for week six, particularly the group project um, and the parachute.com as you uh, are generating a Microsoft project um, uh, schedule file for the parachute.com uh, project. Uh, the overview for this week is uh, project schedule management. Remember we've got time, resources um, and uh, and funds and we're going to be looking now in terms of time and um, what the triple constraint is in these areas how you adjust one and you end up with demands on another etc etc so the um, the focus and you'll do this both for the step-by-step -step practice as well as real for the uh, parachute.com project but you've already played with the project already given some of the parameters for the for the overall pr project that you were given um, but you'll uh, develop a complete project schedule you'll compare and contrast different kinds of scheduling tools um, look at other uh, team project schedules just to make sure that everything is consistent you should be now looking at um, not making any major changes in the, the parachute.com stuff you've already done, but really trying to harmonize everything, clean it up, and make sure that uh, everything is consistent. Um, you'll do um, now more network diagrams with this uh, using Microsoft Project. So um, you've got readings, you've got instructional materials, some lectures, um, contribute to the two discussions, and if you can't make the Zoom class, make sure you have the response there. Um, both of the discussions uh, in week six and seven will build off of work that you need to complete in your groups. So um, we'll uh, talk, uh, make sure your groups have met before the week of um, uh, Wednesday, uh, our class uh, in week seven. So make sure your group is up to speed on not only week six but week seven uh, so that when we so you may want to peek at week seven just to kind of see where uh, where we're heading um, don't forget you've got chapters 16 and 17 uh, in exercises and your final submission for your group is going to be an MPP uh, Microsoft project file so just make sure it's not a word or PowerPoint or anything like that um, you're creating that uh, and I've got a, a huge slide here with lots of text but what it is is really coming from two or three different places uh, in the assignment so um, just keep that in mind you're going to collect and uh, some of the documents you've already created for parachute.com you're going to use Microsoft Project to apply uh, its tools and techniques and basically you update the uh, the project file to create the um, the schedule uh, and basically you use auto so you don't have to do it manually and uh, after you do that uh, you may want to tweak things here and there but it should generate uh, everything um, in terms of the work packages and, and all that good stuff so there is a verification tool um, that's available in the files section if you want to look at that um, you don't have to give us, uh, you have to give me the worksheets, those are for your own use. Um, as we look at what is a 70 point assignment, you guys are doing great on the group projects, not a time to freak out. This is really time to start using real tools on what has been a hypothetical and just seeing how it, how it will look out. Um, and uh, I think that's going to be uh, a fun thing to do. Um, so you have to satisfy at a high level in terms of the, the uh, work breakdown uh, structure items and uh, make sure they're all in there basically. Um, it's just, it's really you're taking information you already had and you're putting it in a more flexible machine uh, readable 
format. And so don't, don't freak that it's going into project. It's not really uh, any different than putting it on paper. Um, remember the stakeholders or stakeholder groups um, are going, who are going to be receiving this file. Folks at Pearson, uh, folks at uh, LinkedIn, um, College Board, uh, various, maybe other investors are looking at this and they're saying, okay, looks like things are on track and moving uh, well. And so uh, make sure you've uh, assessed all the alerts and icons. Sometimes it'll give you an error message if you've got a, a date that has a constraint on it and you've got to meet that um, or you've uh, over allocated resources or things like that. So 70 on the rubric, 70 possible points. So keep that in mind. And that being said, have a fantastic week and um, we'll see you Thursday night. Bye-bye now.